Okay, this is the leg that the accident affected. And this is six weeks in and I did a, a tri-malleolar fracture. So broken bone here, a broken bone at that side and a broken bone at the back and the ankle was dislocated. So uh, required some surg surgery, ORIF surgery to straighten everything and a plate was inserted in the side. Let's try to hold that up. You can see where the surgery took place and there's a, a plate and screws to hold everything together. The, um, the sutures were taken out about four weeks ago. That was two weeks after the operation when the cast was removed first time. Sutures removed and a fresh dressing put on and then a second cast. And that cast has remained on for uh, just over four weeks. It was taken off uh, a couple of hours ago. Um, so you can see, I do have, if I can get it in place, there is a saw here where the cast rubbed against my leg. So I'm hoping that that is going to clear up now that I've got that cast off. You can see there's still bruising and still swelling around uh, the ankle. And the skin is, has dried up. I have put some moisturiser on. The skin was all dry and flaked across there. I've got bruises here where um, you can compare legs. The, this leg is quite a bit thinner than this leg now. I've lost um, some muscles and as a result the cast was a little bit loose and did bang about which I think has caused this and the saw on the side. Um, as I say the skin was pretty dry and flaky and I've put a lot of moisturiser on um, and then it will get a good soak and hopefully should start to pick up but there is st still a bit of soreness and swelling around the ankle itself and some bruises still there. The, um, the doctor has said that it will swell in the morning and it will swell in the evening uh, after I've been up and about on it um, but that's normal and it will get less as time progresses but I'm now at the stage where I've got the moon boot and uh, I'm due to get some physiotherapy very shortly to show me some stretching exercises to start getting tendons and muscles back um, in shape and I can begin to increase the weight that I can put on that joint now. Um, the x-rays today have shown that everything's going really well but there is still a tiny little fracture showing up on the x-rays on that side so it's still not at 100% joint together but the doctor's happy that I can begin to put weight on that and with a bit of luck um, he said I should be able to drive uh, in about uh, three weeks or so um, after I've done the physio um, and I should be out of the moon boot within two to three weeks of starting the physio and at that point if I'm comfortable I'm in a position to drive and then I'm back to see the doctor in about eight weeks just to see how things have progressed. So that's where, that's where we are. Um, he said, did say that most people uh, after about 12 months um, have forgotten that they even had this type of fracture. But for some people, they can still get some soreness, particularly on this side where the screws and the plate has gone in because the, uh, the flesh is quite thin there and it can cause a bit of discomfort. So he said he may get some pain uh, for anything from 12 to 18 months but if it persists beyond that then it can be opened up and the screws and plate taken out but fingers crossed everything goes well and we do what the physio and the doctor say and we should have forgotten all about it in 12 months.
Right, just back from the hospital where I've had the plaster cast taken off and a moon boot fitted. Here it is. It's very comfortable uh, and adjustable. It's a medium, size medium, small, medium and large. I'm a UK size 8 and this fits really comfortably. So I'm going to take it off now so that you can see how it works. There are five straps all attached by Velcro and they loop through these loops. So the top one undoes. Second one, third one, fourth and fifth. The two on the foot close the opposite way to the two on the leg. And then this attaches by Velcro and folds over. And the same with the bottom. The boot comes with six adjustable pads that you can fit where you've got pressure points and it's sore. Um, I've only got one fitted. And the foot comes out and I've got um, a stopping which was given to me by the hospital uh, until I got home and they've said just to use an ordinary sock just to stop any rubbing or any roughness and then the boot fits in the opposite way to a took off but you must make sure that you get the heel properly in and then that attaches and the leg and you pull it as tight as feels comfortable for you. Two on the foot and the shins go the opposite way. very comfortable and holds the leg securely. This is the bottom, the sole of the moon boot. As you can see, it's, it's not completely flat. It's curved, um, so it rocks. When you put it on the floor, you can see the, the motion here. Now let this go. So it rocks back and forward. So the motion is you put the, your heel down and roll forward like that. 